Hi everyone and welcome! It's almost Easter, so today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little origami bunny baskets. This tutorial will be quite a bit harder than last time's hopping bunny one. And there are two parts that are especially difficult, but I'm going to do my best to walk you through it. Let's get started! What you're going to need is a square piece of origami paper. Here I have one that is 6 inch or 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter. It could be double sided. I will make one that is yellow on the outside and purple on the inside. First, fold it in half with the outer layer on the inside. Pick up the non-folded edge and fold it down into halves on both sides, making quarters like a fan. Repeat again with the non-folded edges. Unfold and fold the inside edges to the center to make a fan with 8 sections. You can reinforce the middle three creases on both sides, as it might help later on. Unfold everything. Make a diagonal fold. Unfold and repeat on the other diagonal, making an X. Unfold again. Rotate until the creases are horizontal and fold the bottom edge up to the second crease. Put your finger right outside the bottom right diagonal fold and push the bottom right corner in. Fold along the diagonal line until you see five and a half creases and press down. Turn the paper over. You will need to fold down on the first crease from the bottom and fold along the second crease until it intersects with the diagonal. Then fold along the diagonal. If you're having trouble, you can use your finger to smooth out the inside first. Make sure it matches the other side. This will be the head of the bunny, and we will leave it here for now. Fold the bottom right corner up to the first crease. Unfold and reinforce the fold on the other side. Unfold and open up the bunny. This is one of the parts that may get a bit tricky. You should see a W shape fold on the paper. Your goal is to fold outward along the blue lines and inward along the yellow lines. You can do this by slowly and carefully reinforcing these creases in the correct directions, while being careful to smooth out the paper around it. For me, it was helpful to start from the outside and work my way towards the center.
When the folds are done, collapse the bunny together. Now flip open one of the tail folds and fold the outside edge towards the center. Do this on the other side as well and close the tail. Now comes the second part that might be a bit tricky. You want to fold along the first crease and tuck it into the center. Start away from the head. It'll help if you're holding on to the fold that makes the head while you do this. You'll get to a point where you can't go any further on the crease. Press down and form a triangle. Do the same on the other side. I didn't hold on to the head fold on this side and struggled a bit to find the triangle. But it all worked out in the end. Congratulations! You are done all the difficult parts. Now all we need to do is finish with the details of the face. On one side of the bunny's face, there should be a diagonal fold. Press in on the fold, making it the same on both sides. And tuck the fold between the ears. Now make a fold from about halfway across the top edge to halfway down the diagonal edge. Do the same on the other side. Now fold again in about the same direction. You can also fold a little more horizontally to make the ears pop out more. Do the same on the other side. Now make a tiny fold about halfway across the front to about halfway across the diagonal. And do the same on the other side. Gently open up the bunny. And you're done! And there you have it! That's how you make an origami bunny basket. If you had any difficulties, please leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. Thank you for watching! And if you want to watch more, here is my latest video. See you next time!